Hi, my name is Matthew Pizzi, and I'm going to show you how you can create icons inside of Adobe Photoshop 7. Creating icons is typically done in a vector program, but as you'll see, inside of Adobe Photoshop 7 and later, you have vector tools inside the program. As we look at this document, you can see that we have several different icons created. We can easily reproduce similar icons by using the vector tools. The vector tools are located in the tools bar. You'll notice there's a rectangle tool, but if you click and hold down, you'll reveal the hidden tools. Not only do we have a rectangle tool, but we have an ellipse tool, a line tool, and even a shape tool. What I'm going to do here is choose the ellipse tool. With the ellipse tool, I'm going to come up to the options bar. I'm going to set the fill color to white, and we're going to leave the stroke set to none. Now we're going to draw a circle. Simply click and drag, but as you drag, hold down the shift key to constrain it to a perfect circle. Once you draw the circle, we want to go ahead and create an icon inside of the circle. Now, if you don't have great artistic skill, don't worry. What we can do is come over to the tools panel and choose the shape tool. With the shape tool, we can come up to the options bar and notice there's a menu here of different shapes. In fact, I have several different shapes here, more than what you may have loaded into this panel. If you want to see all these shapes as well, click on this little gear icon. That's going to open up a menu and you'll notice all the different categories of shapes that you can load in. I would go ahead and choose all to get all of the different icons. Once they're loaded in, I'm just going to go ahead and choose this paw print. Then I'm going to come over to the document. I'm going to click and drag again, holding down the shift key to constrain its proportions. Now I just created a white paw. I want to go ahead and change the color and I can do that by leaving the paw selected, going up to the options bar. And in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and choose black. Once I change the color of the paw, I'm going to go ahead and press the V key on the keyboard to activate the move tool. Then I'm going to use the arrow keys on my keyboard to nudge the paw in place. And as you can see, we created a perfect vector icon inside of Photoshop.